everybody, get my $200 course on sale right now for $25, but only for a limited time. So click the link in the description box with the coupon code already applied. Hey everybody, this is Brianna Rudder from HowToBlackHair.com. And in this hair tutorial, I am going to be teaching you how I did Ghana braids on my own hair, step by step for beginners. If you like watching beginner friendly step by step hair tutorials that get straight to the point, then all you have to do is click my subscribe button down below and click the bell for notifications to make sure that YouTube notifies you when I post new tutorials. So as you see here, these are the different colored braiding hairs that I'm going to be using to create my Ghana braids hairstyle. You can choose to do your hair all black if you so choose, but I wanted it to be very colorful. These are some of the supplies you're also going to need for styling your hair. And as you can see, I'm just rocking my ponytail really quick right before I start braiding my hair. Now the packs of hair that I bought were extremely long and I like that because I can get multiple uses out of buying each pack of hair. If you wanna know where I got my colorful packages of hair from, all you have to do is check the description box for links that I provided. So after removing the rubber band, I'm gonna show you how you want to feather the ends because you want to make sure that the ends come to a tapered point so that way your braid can gradually get thinner as it ends. And by doing that, you're just gonna pull on some of the hairs randomly to break up any harsh lines. Now in order to free tangles, you wanna wrap it around one hand and then use your free hand to run your fingers through. Because as you pull on the ends of the hair, you're gonna create a little bit of tangle. So after you finish doing that, you're then gonna tie it in a big knot so that way the hair does not get tangled or messy. So that way you can keep it very neat as you finish tapering the rest of your bundles. All in total, I used eight bundles of hair to actually achieve this look. Now you're just gonna trim off the excess hair at the very bottom for more of a neat appearance and you wanna do eight braids on each side of your head. So as you can see here, I have my hair split into two ponytails because I want all of my braids to come from one point. So I'm separating my hair to get about as even as possible two ponytails while also having a side part as you see here. So make sure to watch this very carefully to know exactly how you need to part your hair if you want all your braids coming from one point. Now I divided that section into two and each ponytail you see here is gonna be four braids. So if you're following along with me, you're gonna get the idea of how you need to part your hair braid by braid. But first you want to predetermine where your braids will be so that way it falls exactly into place how you plan. So with that ponytail, I divided it again and this is gonna be one braid. And I have the second braid that's right here that's being clipped out of the way. And then you see those two ponytails on the side, that's for two braids. And then the other one is for four braids that you see back here. So like I said, eight braids on this side of my head and eight on the other side, as you see me demonstrating here right now. So I braided two braids to show you a difference between the braid that you don't want versus the way you want your braid to actually look, which is this blue braid here. Now the reason why they look different is because I had a lot of pieces for the blue already sectioned out, each one gradually getting bigger. But with the purple braid, I did it with too few pieces. And that's why you see a difference in its style. And I'm gonna show you how to make sure your braid turns out just right. So I went ahead and pre-sectioned all of my pieces of hair and it's about 10 to 12. And this is gonna change depending on how long your braid is when you're actually braiding your hair. So on the sides of your head, the distance between the front of your head to the back is shorter than if you were to braid a braid in the middle of your head. You have to go a longer distance. So the longer the distance, the more pieces of braiding hair you need to have sectioned off. And I'm getting ready to detangle my hair as you see here so that I can show you how you want to braid your braid. Right before we begin braiding, you want to take a little bit of your favorite edge control or hair gel, whatever you like to use to slick down the beginning. This is very important because this predetermines where you're going to grab your first section of hair. Never grab all the way at the very beginning of your hairline because that can cause breakage. You want to just be a little bit of a ways back, about anywhere from a couple centimeters to half an inch. So now at this point, we're taking the smallest bit of hair we section and we're going to divide it into two, grabbing the smaller piece and putting it over the bigger piece. And then you're just going to pinch with your three main fingers one side of the hair to grip on your hand. And then you're gonna use your other finger to insert in as you twirl around and open with your index and thumb. That's the first area of hair you're going to use to begin braiding your braiding hair onto your Ghana braid. So we start off with the tiniest piece of hair in the front and then you wanna overlap one piece of hair over the other. 
If you're not directly sure or you don't really understand how to do cornrow braids, then I highly suggest that you watch my other cornrow braiding videos to get a better idea because this includes the Ghana technique as well as the cornrow technique to achieve this look. So just follow me very carefully as I walk you through how you want to do a Ghana braid to make sure it turns out flawless. So as you're braiding and you free your left hand, you're gonna grab another little piece of hair. And I'm just repositioning my fingers so that way you can see it a little bit better. So you're gonna grab a little piece of hair, you're gonna hook it under your index of your right hand. You're gonna push the front hair over your head and then you're gonna braid once. So you're gonna free your right hand. As soon as you free your right hand, you grab that piece of hair and you tuck it over the index of your left hand. And you do this going back and forth. You do not wanna braid more than twice before adding hair. So as you can see here, I'm repeating the same thing, putting a piece over my head. Then as I rotate my hand around to directly through my other hand, I'm gonna grab that piece and hook it under the index finger. If you braid too much before adding new pieces of hair, you will not have a Ghana braid. I repeat, you will not have a Ghana braid. You wanna make sure that you're always freeing one hand immediately after the other when you're either hooking a new piece, as you see here, or you're grabbing the tail end to put into the other hand under the index finger so if you're having any issues with this I totally get it this is a slightly advanced hairstyle so if it helps you just go back a little bit more so that you can start off fresh to follow me once again on how to do this braiding technique one thing that I've learned when it comes to achieving any hairstyle is that if you watch it and follow along you will get it so much more quickly than just watching the tutorial and not doing the style so I want you to carefully watch and then make sure to re-watch this again when you want to do this look so that way you can braid right along with me so that way you can get it a lot faster than trying to just rely on your memory so as you can see I hook it under my index and I grab the tail end of the other side put it over then I hook it directly under my index finger trust me if you break too many times before adding pieces of hair your braid will not look like a Ghana braid and another thing that I want you to remember is to make sure that when you pull the hair over you keep it very tight and then use a clip as you need to if you need to prepare additional pieces of hair so that keeps your braid from unraveling when you need to actually create new sections to add. So when you're actually adding your pieces, it's very important, like I said before, that they gradually get bigger. The reason why is because your braid is getting bigger as you continue to braid going all the way at the ends. If every little piece of hair was the same, it will look more like a cornrow braid when you near the back of your Ghana rather than it look like a Ghana braid. So keep that in mind as you're pre-sectioning your pieces of braiding hair. If you watched this far, what I want you to do is comment down below different colored heart emojis and tell me in the comment section below why you love watching my tutorials because I wanna read your comments to see what you all think. So now that we're pretty much near the very end where I only have about an inch to two inches of hair left at the very back of my head of space, I'm just going to continue braiding into a cornrow. You can literally keep adding pieces until you leave your scalp if that's what you choose to do. But I like the look of just a little bit of cornrow down at the very bottom. And when you're braiding, like I said, you just keep overlapping one piece over the other. And when your braid is too long, all you have to do is use a clip to hold it in place so that you can braid to the ends. Now this is how your braid is supposed to look. It's supposed to be very small in the beginning and then gradually get bigger as it goes towards the end. And for demonstration purposes, I went ahead and added a very light blue braid to my hair just to show you the contrast of difference between the looks. And I absolutely love the way the style is turning out. Now if you see any loose bits of hair, don't worry about that. When you're fully done, you're just going to take your scissors and trim off any little pieces of hair that are sticking out. So I went ahead and braided the rest of my hair. And as you can see, I got all these flavors going on, as you can tell according to my t-shirt. And I decided to make sure that with every other color, I added either a yellow, an orange, or a red. So that way I can balance all these different colors in together so we got just a little bit of color scheme going on. And we're not done just yet because there's one more thing we gotta do. We gotta touch up these edges to tie in this beautiful look that we got going on here. I'm gonna turn this side into this side with a little bit of edge control, a rat tail comb, and my secret weapon is hairspray to make sure that those edges last all day long. So you can use hair gel if you want to. You can even choose to leave your edges as is. But you know, when you're watching my tutorials, as you can tell, as soon as you finish the edges, it ties the look in all together. So if you want to, you could use a tube brush if you like. 
I just want you to do whatever you like to do with your edges to tie in your look. And this is how I like to style my edges when I'm finished doing my hair. So after I finish swooping it in with my comb, I also like to use the end of it to make sure it smooths into my braid and looks very consistent once it's finished. So now it's time for a little bit of hairspray. And it goes such a long way. I swear, every time I do not use hairspray, my edges only last like one hour. And I'm like, what the heck? I just put edge control on and now they're back curly again or whatever the case may be. So I put a little bit of hairspray on and they literally last all day. I'm telling you, that is my secret trick when it comes to making these edges stay flawless. And as you can tell, my style is finished and I'm so happy to be rocking this look. I got so many compliments on the style, it was crazy. And I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed creating this style for you. So thank you so much for watching my Ghana Braids tutorial. Give me a thumbs up and a comment down below what hair tutorial you want me to do next. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button and the bell for notifications because I have some amazing tutorials on the way. Bye bye! Hey everybody, get my $200 course on sale right now for $25, but only for a limited time. So click the link in the description box with the coupon code already applied.